guys. So I am actually getting ready to head out and go by Costco. I swear we've been to Costco like four times in the last like week and a half. If you hear that, I'm making coffee. And I'm gonna take my vitamins real quick. Um, before I head out, I just had my oats for the day. It's a little early. It's like 10. Um, but because tonight I have the night workout that starts at 7, I kind of stop eating like around like 5.30 or 6. Uh, so I kind of get started a little earlier than I normally do. And this is a new turmeric one. I got this because it was on sale through Thrive, I think was where I got it. Pretty sure. And um, I've been taking the Garden of Life one, but again, I just got it because it was on sale. But I've heard this brand's really, really good too. Gaia, Gaia. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. I don't know. I saw that Trader Joe's carries them now too, the turmeric, and they're a lot cheaper there. So I might have to try that too at some point. This you get 120 though, you get a lot. And I think this was only, oh, they're a weird color. They're like in a green capsule. That's weird, that's new. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I am actually, I don't think I showed you this, hold on. So when Nate and I went the last time, we went to return his underwear, remember that? And when we were there, we saw these and they're Calvin Klein like bras, you get two bras. I didn't like them. They didn't work for me. I tried a 36C because I haven't really mentioned this. I think I have a few times in comments, but not like on video. <laughs> I am having, you know, the con part of losing weight is you lose it in your boobs. It's I'm no, no exception to that. Like I was a full D before. And now, to be completely honest, I don't know. I have not been fitted um, for like my new size, we'll say. I was like a 38D typically, ice. And um, yeah, uh, my boobs have completely like deflated and it's more of like, just go with me, like up here, right here, that part, the top part. Um, it's like almost elastic even, like the skin, it's crazy. Um, so I'm not as full and I, but then the, those bras, maybe it was just the fit of them. So I, I just thought, you know, I'm going to be a size smaller now and they almost seem still like a little too small. So maybe I'm still kind of in between like a C and D, but I think it was also just the style. I just didn't like them. So I'm going to return those. Mm -hmm. But the struggle is real, man. Like, mm. I just haven't gotten sized because I kind of like want to wait till I'm closer again to like my final goal. In the meantime, I just wear sports bras. They're comfortable anyway. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm pretty much a large in sports bras, not an ex extra large anymore, but large. Large is kind of like my size now as I have found, even in like workout pants and stuff too. Um, and I've always been like an XL before, so it's a little weird. Even I got these, let me show you, these Lululemons. I really like these off of Poshmark um, a couple weeks ago, and I like the like gray like design, I like that. Um, but these are a size 12, and they're a little big on me now. I think I'm kind of hitting that stage of like a 10, 12 kind of thing. I can still wear these, but they're, they're a little loose. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me finish my coffee. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go and return those now. I don't really need anything from there, like specifically, but you know how that goes. But I do need to go and get um, like a kid's present, any kind of present really, boy or girl, it doesn't really matter. But on Saturday, actually with our gym, we're gonna be doing like kind of a benefit type thing, um, a mass workout, boot camp style, um, giving back, you know, at this time of year for like kids in need and donating and all that. So I want to get a toy for that event. I'll try to film some of it. It'll be fun because it'll be very um, intense of a workout, <laughs> but fun. It's still fun. Um, but that's Saturday. So I need to pick up something for that. I also need to get a few gifts for my uh, friend's kiddos. And then what else? What else? I might look at Costco for that, but I was thinking Home Goods. I always feel like Home Goods actually has like really good kids' toys. Um, they're kind of unique stuff, you know? We'll see. But yeah, then tonight, so it is 10 now. Tonight, Sid will be heading back over here. We had our morning workout this morning at like 5.30. It was good. It was a lot. Um, 
And then she'll be heading over here again tonight around 5.30 and we'll get ready to go again tonight for our other workout. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but tomorrow morning I'll be off from the gym. I might still go, but not super early. It's my night, or it's my like midweek, sleep in a little bit and be good to go. Get a little, little extra sleep. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do Costco first. See if I find anything there for toys, but I'll show you if I do or whatever else I get. What you making? Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. This is why I make fantastic uh, vegan cuisine. Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Step one, take a bag of fake meat. <laughs> Step two, air fry it. Got it. Always air fry it. Always. And what you got over there? Cauliflower stir fry. The best. Uh -huh. From Trader Joe's. Oh, yes. So yummy. And are you putting the glaze on top? Better believe I'm just You it. better believe. That's what's going on here. Nom, 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 nom. Very good. That looks delicious. Yeah. All set. All set. You can give him a cookie. Huh? You can give Bear a cookie. The little one. I think he likes the gingerbread cookie. Is it on? It is. I don't see the little one. <laughs> it's not on. It is. Well, flip my little dude thing you went on. I don't know. I can't see nothing. You know, I can't see the screen. <laughs> what was that? I gotta open the door. Hey. Open the door, Tor. In case you guys don't know where that's from, there's a Shane Dawson movie. <laughs> it's actually completely underrated, and he hates his own movie, but I, it's, it's amazing. Terrible. It's terrible. He hates his own movie. I love it. It's terrible. Um. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm getting rid of her. And Nate's gonna make dessert. That's we're not fair. here to judge. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about that. Uh, Sid is on her way. Maybe she'll pop on and say hi. Um, but yeah, what are you going to make? I'm going to make a blueberry crumble. In the air fryer. Yeah, in the air fryer. It's going to be so cute. I've got these little <laughs> ramekins. It's going to be so cute. <laughs> right, cool. Yeah. He's actually, I have to say, he you do make a mean... Crumble. What's the wait? Crumble and then what's the other one that's similar to a crumble, but it's called something else? Like a pie? No. Like a bread? No. What's the, oh, what is it? I'm not good at these. Crumble and then crisp. What's the difference between a crumble and a crisp? Anyway, it's gonna be a crumble or a crisp. I don't. There's a don't difference, know. but I'd, I don't know what. I have to look it up. I'm not sure. They both. Consistencies are about the same. I think maybe like a crumble is more designed to be almost like a, a, a bowl dish where a crisp can be cut and put on a plate. Like if you put a crumble on a plate, it's just going to go. How's it going to go? <laughs> go. 
<laughs> got it, got it. But I feel it. like a crisp, you cut, and if you put it on a plate, there's still like some form. Maybe it's almost like a crumble doesn't have like a built-in like bowl or like crust. It's more of just like hot and sexy on top. But it's got to stay in a bowl. I forgot ice cream. No, but we have the cocoa whip. I understand. I want it both. I understand because I won't be here. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought that would be cool for him to share that with you guys while we're gone. Yeah. But we still have a little bit, but yeah. Right. Well, Maybe. I gotta do this. I gotta do this because I have a prior engagement tonight myself. Spelling words. <laughs> Spelling words with the boy. He <laughs> takes that on on Tuesdays for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, but maybe this will even be done before we go. May I'm just saying maybe. I mean, maybe there's just a little bit of a uh, little bite. Go ahead, just do what you bite. need to do. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. Have fun with that. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to start off with uh, the blueberries. Uh, just six ounces. It's one of the regular little hi, container hi. things. Do you want to say hi? And uh, <laughs> what are we doing? We're, we're making a blueberry crisp. <laughs> oh, yum. Yeah. And I, because, you know, we're going to the gym, so he's making dessert. Exactly. Oh. Do you want to come say hi to my friends? Just go hi, like that. Just say hi. You can see yourself. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, no, he's going to show them how to make it. Yummy. Yeah. How was your day? Long. Long. Yeah. But good. Oh. Where'd you get the idea for a blueberry crisp? I make a crisp like every year. <laughs> he yeah. does. He does. He's just... really good at it. Okay, that is not enough sugar. It is. Bullsh**. <laughs> okay. So, okay guys. So here, we're going to take our blueberries uh, or raspberries, pretty much any berry Bear. that you want. And we're just going to dump them in. You put those in a bowl. And then we're going to take um, cornstarch. So, roughly about a tablespoon of cornstarch, kind of... That's half a tablespoon, by the way. It's a good point. <laughs> so take a, take a half a tablespoon of cornstarch, that is enough. And then we're going to use coconut sugar. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to do a full tablespoon of coconut sugar. And when I say full, it's kind of that like rounded over the top. Keeping. Keeping. Keeping tablespoon. We're going to do one and a half. Uh-huh. All right. So you guys are just going to take that like so like and you're going to dust them oh. all over and we're, we're multitasking. To... <laughs> do you want it iced and stuff? Yeah. Thick. thick Real thick. Thick. Thick thick. 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 Okay. Now the thing is <laughs> What? Balsamic vinegar? Yeah. Ooh. Because you do this with raspberries and the sugar start to break down raspberries, but the membranes on blueberries are much thicker so you don't get the same kind of breaking down. <laughs> it's called emulsifying. <laughs> I know the term. Huh? What? The same. Wow. Then we're going to crush them a little bit too, but this is, I'm going to be loud as <laughs> over here. Priorities. Balsamic vinegar. Just a little bit will do you. This is just kind of wet it. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so once you got them pretty coated through for the most part, don't mind her. Um, <laughs> we're just going to go ahead and take them and then we're going to crush them. And all you're doing is kind of just popping the skin a little bit on them. So you can kind of stab them through or give them a little just chopping action. Are you making individual ones? We're making four. Yeah, of them. in the air fryer. What? What? Let's say say what? what? I know. I mean, it's fruit, so it can't be that bad. Health. Health. Actually, this is about as healthy as you can no, make a dessert, yeah. really. That's true. So we're just breaking the skin, just kind of popping them a little bit, trying to get all just it wet with its own juice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and then the key is, is you literally let this hang out. And when you let it hang out, you can never hang out too. It's like a, it's like a batch of good friends. <laughs> you can't quite hang out enough. Oh my God. So don't worry about the time. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I did this good, look at that. That's like ice cream. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> so next we're gonna take our little food processor. You don't need anything too crazy or big. 
It should be dry. It's not completely dry, but it'll do. Um, so we're gonna do a fourth cup of flour, half cup of oats, and we're also doing uh, four tablespoons of butter and a half cup of brown sugar. So this is what's gonna make the actual crumble of a crumble. The schnozberries taste, taste like, like schnozberries. It's the cutest little, thank you. <laughs> the cutest little food processor. Isn't it? It's so tiny. <laughs> All right, so we got the oats, a uh, half cup of oats, fourth cup of, we're using whole wheat flour, yeah. whole wheat flour, and brown sugar. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this fancy butter. That's Miyoko's. Miyoko's <laughs> butter. Everyone loves it. Hey! <laughs> Watch your fanny. Um, we're gonna, let's put the blade in here since I probably should have done that first. Um, just watching. And we're gonna put uh, four tablespoons of this butter. So uh, you're in my kitchen. Do you want an eyeball? <laughs> eyeball. Do you want a spoon too? <laughs> so that should be the amount of butter we need. And uh -huh. now we're just gonna put it on the food processor, grip and rip. Pulse it. Pulse it. Start off low and high. All right, the butter is stuck to the side. <laughs> Problem number one. But that's good though for like that kind of thing. You want like chunks of butter, yeah? You want the butter to be cold. Who can tell me why butter needs to be cold and crumbles? <laughs> Are we in school? <laughs> because when the heat hits it, it causes it to actually bubble and the moisture and the water molecules, they boil and that's what causes fluff and crisp. Mm. Getting there. So you should end up with kind of little, you know, little balls <laughs> that are stuck to the butter. They should be delicious. You can taste test. Is that butter good? It's actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It is. A lot of them told me that, like, get that. It's so yeah, good. I've and their cheese, too. I guess they have really good cheese that's vegan. I don't know. Like mozzarella cheese, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Which I feel like mozzarella vegan cheese has not really been perfected by many brands. So if that's the case, yeah, that's good. Could be very good. It's a little pricey, but. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, and then I'm gonna take just four of these little ramekins. They're oven safe. They're, well, yes, make them oven safe. <laughs> um, we're just gonna divide up the berries into those. Give them another stir. You should have kind of just been stirring them as they've been going along a little bit. Got it. I'm the weirdo that doesn't like all the little white things on this. I don't like it. It's not right. And See, this is like a healthy dessert. And then we're just gonna take our topping and we're gonna toss it on top. All right. How long will it cook for? It is going to cook for uh, 15 minutes at 350 degrees. I, I, I can wait for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you just kind of put the topping on. Don't pat the topping. You just want it to just be like resting in the pan. Because yeah. once again, it's going to allow heat to get underneath it as well, which is going to cause it to kind of bubble and crisp the way it should. Therefore, crumbling it into the bowl would be the proper fashion. Got it. Mm -hmm. And you can never have too much crumble. I no, mean, that's the whole point. The, the crumble to berry ratio is very much as fat <laughs> as you need it to be. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very good. And Nate's cooking in the kitchen, so I'm making a mess. How do you like that? Mm-hmm. Now, if you were to take advantage of watching the video earlier about our new air fryer and getting one, this would be the time where you would preheat your air fryer Feature you can't find all of them, I'm just saying. Um, so we preheated it. Um, they fit perfectly. And then, oh no, I, I came prepared. Oh. Alrighty, so 350, 15, don't open it and check on them, you will ruin your crisp. Is that really true? Questioning no, my crumble. No, go ahead. Don't open it, guys. You can open it. 
Yes, they bubble in. They're bubbling, so be careful. Oh, darn you, sis. <laughs> uh -huh. right, I'm going to get the whip. Yes, we got more cocoa whip. We approve of it. It is awesome. Yeah. Sid's going to try it with us. I'm going to put your crisp to the, tape, to the test. To the test? To the test. Oh, yeah, this Cocoa Whip is... I was getting dollops. Dollops is really, really good by So Delicious. Mm -hmm. But I think the light version, because there's a light version, and then this is the regular, they're like five calories difference, too, which is kind of silly to almost make a separate product when <laughs> that's the only difference. Right. But they're both good. That looks good. Yes. So you need it for a thumbnail. Do you want to be in my thumbnail? What's a thumbnail? Thumbnail is the picture you see to the video. You oh, don't sure. have to be, but you can be. <laughs> yes. Give it a taste test. Now be careful, guys. It's, it's probably hot. hot. All right. Okay, it's Whoa. really hot. Looks good, though. Yeah. Tis the season to be fluffy. <laughs> That's what we've been saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> Her face. Mm-hmm. Yeah! <laughs> I'm glad we made four, and there's only three people here to eat them. Oh, that is good. Because they're going to go to the gym, and I'm going to have the last one. Yeah, that's good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. You'll have to try this, guys. This is really, really good. Dinner. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys have a chance to try this. Um, guys, it took 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's really good. Um, pretty easy. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I hear the little dog coming. Oh, come here. <laughs> no. ah. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.